so today's question is, how do you know when you need new brake pads? So we've got a couple different brake pads here. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this. This one's a brand new one. Uh, this is from a Japanese car, these brake pads. Um, this set of brake pads over here is from a European car, a BMW. And so what I wanna show you, the, the main difference is, you know, so the one's a little bit different size, that's all right, different sizes. We're not here to talk about the different sizes of brake pads today, just when do you need brake pads? Um, so on the Japanese cars and lots of the, the domestic cars, they have a squealer. So the squealer's right here, it's a little metal tang, and as the pad wears down to the disc, so as the rotating disc moves through here, the pad, this uh, squealer, will contact the rotating disc once the pad material wears away. When it does that, it makes a metallic scraping noise. When that happens, you need brake pads. On the European cars, they use a little, little bit of a different setup. Um, same sort of thing, but it's electrical. So when your dash says, get brake pads now, or whatever your dashboard's gonna say, uh, that's because when this, so here is the sensor, this takes place of the squealer, and as the disc wears this pad away, it comes into contact with this sensor right here, and when it does that, it sends a signal, so this is plugged into the car, it sends a signal up to the dashboard and says, hey, get brakes, get brakes now. Okay, so this is generally all the electric style brakes work like this. All, generally, all the squealing style brakes work like this with the tang. Sometimes brake pads don't have any of this. They don't have the electrical part, they don't have the tang, and you can see actually on this car, um, so this is the back of a Honda minivan, and you've got four brake pads. Only two of them have a squealer. Two of them only come with a squealer. So what's gonna happen is you're gonna rotate these from one side to the other. So one of the brake pads is gonna have a squealer. The other one's not gonna have a squealer. Uh, that's important because sometimes, what happens if this brake pad wears down first before this brake pad? Well, then what you'll hear is a metal to metal grinding noise. So that's when the entire pad is completely worn away, the rotor completely wears it and this metal ear, this entire brake pad ear, then contacts the disc and it makes a really bad metal to metal noise. When that happens, that's dangerous. Uh, you should get your brakes repaired immediately and probably tow the car somewhere, because that's not good. Uh, when it's squealing, you can still drive the car and drive it, you know, you've got basically about a millimeter and a half left of your brake life with any squealer. So it's just gonna go metal to metal and it's gonna make lots of bad noise. The question is, when do you need brake pads? Either when it starts squealing or if the electrical sensor tells you to put brake pads on or sometimes cars don't have any of that and it's just gonna go metal to metal and the only thing you can rely on is just a a, a random inspection, like every time the car gets an oil change, you inspect the brake pads.